welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this afternoon by Yone Koryavuki, who is Regional Director of the ITU Regional Office for Asia and the Pacific. Yone, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Max. Now, I'd like to start off by talking to you a little bit about the theme for this year's Plenipotentiary Conference is Connecting the World Together. How has the Asia and the Pacific region been making strides to get everyone connected over the last four years since the last plenipotentiary conference? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank, thank you, uh, Max. Um, when you look at, uh, firstly, I'll start with uh, the region. We have quite a diverse region, uh, you know, and uh, beginning with the uh, least developed countries on one end of the spectrum and the small island developing states right on the other end. And in the middle, we have um, uh, countries that are quite well developed. So you can see that we have quite a challenge in addressing the region as a whole. But uh, in looking at the last four years and what we've been trying to do, as you would have uh, uh, known that since the last uh, Planet Pot, uh, 2014, um, we know that uh, we were looking at, uh, um, well, even the plan before that was broadband for all. Now that we've got that uh, in place, uh, or the focus was on that, we've started to build out uh, infrastructure and addressing the services that would go over that infrastructure. Uh, and now with all of that again in place, we're looking at um, connecting uh, the whole world. So in the last four years, um, as you know, that the regional offices work uh, to the regional initiatives that we have. So we had five regional initiatives and uh, basically addressing um, specialized uh, needs to the least developing countries the landlocked developing countries, small island developing states as well, including those that are floating out there in the Pacific. And um, most of uh, the assistances that we've provided have gone towards this. But of course, we were addressing, uh, harnessing um, the benefits of um, uh, ICTs for the uh, benefits of the member states. And this encompasses quite uh, a wide spectrum again um, for the assistances that we provide within the region. A lot of work has gone in addressing, uh, well, again, I'll just stick to the five regional institutes, you know, um, um, policy and regulation, which is an important issue. Uh, while uh, technology is transforming, it's evolving, uh, policy and regulation needs to go with that. In addition to that, we're also addressing, um, making sure that the networks are secure and resilient. Um, one of the major things uh, that affects the region is emergency telecoming. So in the last four years, our focus was on that, and it was one of the key uh, initiatives that we had as well. So uh, based on these uh, five initiatives, um, this is what our work was founded on and the things that we've been doing uh, um, with the member states. One of the key issues I think I will go back on is policy and regulation. And I mentioned that um, uh, technology is evolving very quickly and the countries need to be uh, catching up. Um, policy and regulation needs to uh, keep up to that as well. And I think in uh, most situations you'll find regulation is trying uh, to catch up. Uh, we've addressed uh, within the region uh, policies that uh, member states have. Their ICT policy, broadband policies, which in some cases uh, have been quite outdated and that have been addressed as well. Um, in some instances, um, there were policies that have been put in place but needed to be reviewed as well. This is an ongoing um, activity that the regional office runs through. And again, there's a raft of uh, a whole lot of uh, activities that we're engaged in. Um, on an annual basis, um, you know, we gather the priorities of the countries, uh, rationalize the countries, what is specific to each one, what is common amongst the countries, and we address them along those lines as well. So this is the way that we've been working in the last four years. We will continue to do this as the new um, uh, cycle embarks upon us now as we look forward to the next four. Let's talk about the new cycle. What are your plans for the next uh, few years in the region? Well, um, you know, again, our work uh, is again founded on the regional initiatives. Out of um, uh, WTDC uh, 2017, we now have a new set of uh, five uh, regional initiatives. But when we look at the new set of uh, regional initiatives, you can see the similarities between the old and the new, which shows that countries still uh, require uh, specific uh, assistances 
in these areas, which is the uh, uh, very specialized assistances to the least developing countries, the landlocked, the small island developing countries. And uh, they still require very specialized, specific assistances, you know, to keep um, their development uh, going and progressing as well. And again, we are beginning to talk about uh, digital transformation. This is, again, structured into two of our uh, regional initiatives. And the countries are asking uh, through the regional initiatives that we address the harnessing of ICTs uh, for the development uh, of digital transformation, addressing digital transformation. And of course, digital infrastructure as well that goes together with it. And then we find that we still need policy and regulation as one of our regional initiatives and uh, secure and resilient networks. These five are still, although addressing different areas now, but still key to the region as well, looking at the next four. What about events? What, do, uh, what events are coming up? Um, for next year, uh, okay, you know, we have our global events, but coming down to the region, uh, first up is we have our regional development forum. This is key to our planning process uh, within the, region, uh, the office itself. Whilst we have our own planning, we drag this or we uh, factor this into the regional development forum. Why? because the regional development forum looks at our five regional initiatives, what the countries have prioritized, what they need to do, how we can engage uh, with sector members uh, and also partners as well, that will help us uh, um, uh, work with the member states in addressing their very specialized uh, requirements. So the regional development forum, uh, another, um, what is important to the region as well is dealing with the regulators. So we have uh, an event that's specifically tailored for the regulators because we know that regulation uh, is important to the member states and they need to address regulation as we uh, go along. So we have a regulators roundtable where we bring all the regulators from the region and uh, sit them uh, over two days and then we thresh out all the issues that are related uh, to regulation. And at the back of that, we also have an international training program where we bring in uh, officials that, uh, so that we can talk about the regulation, talk about the development and what is required uh, that will uh, bring the two together and, and the also address that uh, going forward. And yeah. the Global Symposium for Regulators as well is happening in, in Vanuatu as well the next year. That's correct. Uh, um, the Global uh, Regulators uh, Symposium is in our region uh, this year and um, in Vanuatu uh, I think uh, the member states will get to experience uh, the Pacific but more importantly how difficult it is uh, to get into the Pacific. You know, uh, when you look at the Pacific, there are just dots uh, floating in the ocean. It's a good experience to see uh, what our small island developing states go through, just to experience what it is that they prioritize and to hear from them. Of course, you know, as the regulators uh, gather in there um, to talk about uh, globally uh, what regulation uh, should be uh, addressed, I think it's a good experience to, to look at uh, perspectives from a small island developing states. Absolutely. In terms of a message, do you have a message for participants here uh, at, at the Plenty Potentiary and of course our wider audience as well on behalf of uh, ITU in your region? Yes, um, I think uh, this is a four year event where we come in together to uh, set the stage for our work in the next four years. It is very important to realise and know that the things we do here, um, agreed here and endorsed at the PP, you know, sets the scene um, for our work. And um, globally, uh, it's important uh, that we keep um, uh, our attention on what is required uh, to make sure that, you know, we're connecting uh, the world. We're connecting the dots right now, but on the uh, global perspective, we need to bring this together to ensure that uh, we reach the unreached, bank the unbanked, and of course, uh, keep one, everyone connected. Well, we look forward to connecting the dots with you again in the future and, and uh, hopefully catching up with you again in that dot in the ocean in Vanuatu too, if, if not <laughs> thank, before. Thank you very much, uh, Max. I'm sure we'll uh, keep our dots connected. Yeah, Andy, thank right. you very much indeed. Thank you. Cheers. All right. Thank you very much.